what you can tell by this smile, I am. It's getting, it's all getting out. Because I made my first wig, y'all, and it came out even better than I ever could have imagined. Like, I was so scared because I've seen all these horror stories with everybody making these itty bitty ass wigs that don't fit their head, and I just knew it was going to be me. I knew I was going to be one of those sad cases, but I wasn't. My wig is actually a little too big for me, but I'd rather have it that way than to have it too small. And, of course, I use my Valencia Rose hair. You all know I'm so in love with um, I can't get enough of her. She just makes me smile every single day. And then with this natural curl pattern, it really bring my Dominicana out, okay? But, um, y'all know I'm in love, whatever. But, uh, I used Tierra Monet's method. Um, she really had a real simple method. She did put her closure, she sold her closure on her wig, but I was kind of scared to do that since it was my first time. I already thought I was going to make a little bit of wig. So I was like, look, I'm just not going to put my closure on there. I'll sew my closure on. So that's exactly what I did. I made the wig and then I sewed the closure down to my head so that there would be no mistake. And I just love it, y'all. I'm so in love with this wig. I've been wanting a wig for a long time so that I can really take care of my hair the way it should be taken care of. I am a natural girl, but I just really can't get with the froze and things like that. Now, don't get me wrong. It look good on some people, but I'm just not with it. So I love my wig, but... um. Yes, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I couldn't make a video for y'all because this was my first time, so it was very experimental. Um, it took me almost two hours to do it, which is not that bad. But um, once I get a little better at it, then I'll try and put a tutorial on there for you guys because it's very simple. It really is. And I was real jealous of Tierra Monet because <laughs> her mannequin, she's created her mannequin to actually be the actual size of her head. So she's not... Not like pulling the cap down over the mannequin head eyes or anything like that she's just slipping it on and sewing her wig on baby and it just looks wonderful um fabulous it is me she has a really good one too um a couple of more people too i it's very easy to find on youtube it's a lot of good ones i use just the regular weaving net the one with the elastic band around it and i didn't cut the elastic band i have a very big head y'all so i just wanted to make sure everything was stretched i sewed along the elastic band and i mean everything just came out great it came out so good i was so excited also there were a few other things i wanted to talk about i had put a video up the other day of one of my new favorite eyeliners or whatever but i was at work and i was rushing and whispering and i was just like no nah, there's just a little too much going on so let me take my time and be able to tell y'all about these eyeliners or whatever um i was quite devastated when i realized that i left the top out because it did dry out i don't have it on right now i got my little backup wet and wild eyeliner on which i hate it's just a backup for emergencies like this one so um it's maybelline's master precise eyeliner y'all um maybelline put a eyeliner stick and liquid eyeliner in the room let them make a baby and this is what it came out with this is their eyeliner baby it is perfect I've never done my eyeliner so precisely every single time. I mean, my wings were always perfect. My line always perfect. I mean, I've never been able to do it that perfectly every single time. And this eyeliner allowed me to do it. I got to go give me another one because I can't deal with the wind wild. But, um, yes, love this eyeliner. It is the bomb y'all thebomb.com okay um also this um maybelline 2 mega plush volume express now usually i just use falsies by maybelline love falsies that is my favorite mascara but this one is right up behind it y'all look how plush and fat that brush is got my eyelashes 
on point. You can see them a little bit over there. It's kind of hard to see them in the camera. But y'all, these are my real eyelashes. I don't wear false eyelashes. And they just got them on point. And then with this and this together, baby, perfect combo. Maybelline is on point, y'all. Don't sleep on Maybelline, okay? I do not spend no $20 on eyeliner, mascara. Uh -uh, I won't. We just spend twenty dollars on some. You know, it's just a preference, man. I don't know. But speaking of lipstick, this is Max Asian Flower on my lip. I love the color, y'all. It's like a pinkish, purplish Asian Flower fusion. The sun might be a little too bright for you to see it, but that's a real pretty color, y'all. It's real creamy. Like, I pack on lipstick. I pack it on. But with this, I'm like, and it's done. For real. And then I just topped it off with a brown liner. I really like brown liners on, like, pinks and nudes and all this stuff. They really look good to me. But, um, it's, it's really pretty. And I do not have a gloss on at all. That is that lipstick shining like that. It's beautiful, y'all. I love it, but um, yes. Yeah, so um, hopefully I can get a little expertise going on with this wig making because I do really want to make y'all a video because it was so helpful for me. Um, I'll be getting some more Valencia Rose hair to do a wig with. There's no point in me doing any more research or um trying to figure out where I'm gonna get some hair from. This is the only place I will ever get hair from. Seriously, y'all. October 2012, y'all, I started research, extensive research on virgin hair companies because I knew I wanted some real bad for my birthday, going to Mardi Gras and all that. I needed something bad. So I was doing stupid research. I hate research, but this is hair and I love hair. So that's just something else. Y'all, seriously and honestly, Valencia Rose Hair was the only company I could find that did not have one bad review. Everybody at least had one. Some had a lot of bad reviews. Some had a few bad reviews. But Valencia Rose didn't have one. And I can see why y'all look. The hair speaks for itself. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's on a whole nother level. They just changing the game of this virgin hair company. You got these people out here, three bundles for $85 and all this stuff like that. No, if you want some premium hair, if you want some quality hair, you are going to have to make that investment, y'all. But it is so worth it. It is extremely worth it in the end. It's something that you won't regret. I'm Valencia Rose hair all day, hands down. I can't wait to... um. And get some more. I don't know what kind I'm gonna get. Um, I don't know. They have a lot to choose from, so I'll just see. I I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna make a wig with it and um get back to y'all on that. So thanks for watching again, and y'all please subscribe. I got like 90 subscribers right now, but it's cool. I love my subscribers. I love my subscribers. Y'all are so supportive. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, keep the comments coming. Keep the messages coming. I really appreciate it. But I would like some more. Okay? That would be cool. But thanks, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.